But we can't ever forget why we put them there. We must stay vigilant. I thought your goal was to reassure people, Mr. Wayne. You're not alone in rebuilding Gotham and Metropolis. But if we don't change some minds soon... Thought that's why you hired that overpaid PR firm, Lucius. Convincing folks to move back to these cities is a lot harder when they're afraid someone's gonna knock them down again. Superman's never getting out. I made that clear. But Wonder Woman, Black Adam, Aquaman, they're still out there somewhere. And seemingly immune to prosecution. I know you built Brother Eye to keep tabs on all those loose ends, but the public doesn't know. Brother Eye's secrecy is critical. Our enemies can't fight something they don't know exists. Well, then at least follow one bit of advice we paid those PR people so much money for. What's that? Be a little less Batman, a little more billionaire playboy. Get out around town in the daylight and smile. Focus groups show people feel safer when they see you smile. Hmm. That would be your other job. Bruce, consider widening your circle of trust. Nobody wins all by themselves. Not even you. As a reception area, this place needs a lot of work. Dinah, Oliver. Thanks for coming on short notice. You're lucky we found a sitter. My great-grandfather built the original Gotham Underground. But these days... It's the Batcave. And this is Brother Eye. More like the Eye of Sauron. Surveillance hub? More than that. A communications hub. Linking every satellite and server on the planet. It warns us when trouble's coming. And guides us when trouble's here. Must take a real genius to operate. I don't know about genius, but I do got a PhD. Dinah! Dinah's hobby! You sure came a long way. A world away. But the change of scenery is nice. I was surprised you called, Bruce. Things seem to be going well. So, what's up? Dismantling the regime created gaps in global security. We're covering them where we can, but we're stretched thin. Vulnerable. Harleen, show them what you found. Right, old bats. Gorilla Grodd, everyone's favorite talking ape. He's got himself a band of bozos. Calls them the society. My mole in Gorilla City says Grodd's planning something big. But what, where, when, we don't know. One thing we do know. Scarecrow's gonna ship Grodd a buttload of fear gas from a hideout in Slaughter Swamp. Very mosquito-y. Good thing I packed my bug spray. I need you three to stop that gas before it gets to Grodd. Not joining us for the party? Unfortunately, I can't leave Gotham without worrying the public. Don't worry, Bats. With this crew on the job, what could go wrong? I know I'm the new guy, but you really trust Harley? She's a different person since Joker died. Mostly. Can they move any faster? I don't need Grodd taking my head off because your boys are too slow. Fear not, Deadshot. We'll be ready for tomorrow's attack. Tomorrow? Cheeky monkey. Fancy meeting you here. Keep them moving. I'll see what that's about. Red, I ain't seen you in forever. 
Never. You here to take down these punks? Quite a catch, Ivy. Red? You're with them? Your man, Bruce, was supposed to better care for the green. All he's done is remodel the concrete jungles of Gotham and Metropolis. Where I sit, there's not much difference between him and Superman. Ugh. You're a few cones short of a pine if you think your new friends care about the green. Grodd will keep his promises, or he'll be my next victim. Oh, Red, why are you making me do this? We could team up again. Drive all the boys crazy. You know, like the old days. The old days were fun. But these days, I'm all business.
instant hangover. We're not done yet. Cheap suit and cheaper grin telling 